Hey there, it's Cameron Wills with Security Boss Pet Doors, and in today's video, we're gonna go over how to market and sell pet door installation services to your customers. But first, we wanna be fully transparent and say to you that we understand pet doors may not excite you. However, what we do know is that selling more of your primary services, materials, and labor will. So what we're gonna do first is break down how Pet Doors is simply going to act as a vehicle to help you expand your current audience, increase your brand awareness, and massively grow your revenue, and not just with Pet Door sales. So for an example, we're gonna act as if you are a local glass shop or glazer for this hypothetical scenario. So let's dive in. So as a glass shop, you only have a limited market size each year meaning only a small percentage of the entire population within your service area is going to naturally be in the market for your services in the next 12 months. And then you're scrambling for just a small portion of that market because you have competitors in your area, in your industry. Therefore, you're only going to get a small percentage of that market, also known as your market share. And this is where it gets exciting. So pet doors is still a best kept secret in most communities, especially if you're a business that we reached out to you directly, which means that there is little to almost no competition in your area. Now, 65% of the nation's homeowners are pet owners, which means that not only 65% of your current customer market and customer database are candidates for pet doors, but 65% of the entire population within your service area is a candidate for a pet door. So now with offering pet door installation services, you've expanded your available market from just a small percentage to the entire population within your service area. And with little to no competition, you're gonna completely dominate this new space. And remember, it's not just the pet door that you're selling. It's the pet door with a new insulated glass unit plus labor. And I don't know of any glazers in any market who don't wanna increase the sales of glass and labor. And that's not it. There's gonna be two types of pet door customers that you service. There's gonna be the existing customers you're already working with on a completely separate glass project who you learn that they have a pet or they learn that you offer pet doors. And then there are the customers who are actually searching for pet door installation services in your area. And that's that portion of the expanded market that's now available to you that we were talking about. And the beauty about this expanded market and these new customers is who do you think they're gonna call when they naturally enter that yearly market of needing non-pet door related services from your company? It's you. They're gonna call you, their local glass expert, the company that came out and offered quality glass, installed their amazing new pet door and had impeccable service. So now what you've done is you have found a strategic way to get your business in front of that future non-pet door related glass market, getting ahead of the competition, and they have no clue how you've done it. So try not to just think of pet doors when you're working with us at Security Boss. Think about the mode of transportation that pet doors is going to be to growing and expanding your current business. And here's a little insight in case you really are a glass shop in a local market. When a pet door is sold with installation and glass, it usually sells for about $1,500 or more on average for the entire transaction or interaction with that customer. And if you follow the steps that we're gonna to continue to talk about in the remainder of this video, you are almost 100% guaranteed to sell as many as four to 15 pet doors a month for the first 12 months. That's almost $80,000 to $270,000 in additional revenue for your business. And as you continue to grow, we have dozens of dealers currently who are selling as many as 20 a month. Okay, that's over $350,000 in additional revenue for their business generated just from pet doors. All right, so if you have made it this far, then I know you are 100% ready to move on to the rest of this video for the true content, which is the step-by-step -step guide on how to sell and market pet door services for your business. So the first thing we wanna talk about is your website. Imagine if you didn't have any pictures or the mention of glass anywhere on your website. You probably wouldn't be doing any glass business. And the same goes for pet doors. You need to get pet door information somewhere on your website. You have tons of visitors who come to your website looking for a non-pet door related service who are gonna see that pet doors is an option and it's gonna increase the average transaction value for your current customer flow. And the same goes the other way. Customers who are coming for pet doors are gonna see that they could bundle other projects or services with you guys in that one transaction. 
And as far as Pet Door images, content, or product descriptions, go to securitybosspetdoors.com. Everything is completely unprotected for the specific purpose that you can take and use what you need for your website. And if there's something you're looking for that is not currently on our website, reach out to your account manager and they'll get you taken care of. And the second thing we want to talk about is your Google business profile. And if you don't know what that is, or you don't know why it's important, I will tell you. So 98% of consumers use Google business profiles to figure out who they want to call and work with for any service they're needing. So they're going to search in Google, for example, glass repair company near me. And then three local listings known as Google business profiles will populate next to a map. And this is known as the Google map pack. And the goal is always to try and be within the top three of those listings because those are the ones that show up at the top of the search results. Now, if you need help for the name of those different types of pet door related searches, let us know. We should have sent you a dealer booklet either at the time that you're seeing this video or just before, but if you can't locate it or don't think you've seen it, let your account manager know and we will get you a nice comprehensive list of very highly ranked, highly searched keywords that are pet door installation related and you can plug those right into your Google business profile. And the third thing we want to talk about is digital literature. Now, if you're seeing this video, what that means is your account manager has already sent you a customized digital brochure that has your company's logo and phone number on it. Now, this digital brochure should be sent to every single customer who inquires about a pet door, is on the phone with you and has a dog barking in the background, or a customer whose home you're already in and you notice the dog is running around, biting your ankles, or locked in a closet, this brochure can be sent to every single one of those customers. Also, please make sure that every single staff member who comes in contact with customers has a copy of this on their phone, tablet, or laptop so that when they're in the field or in the midst of their workday and they come across one of these opportunities, they have an easy way of sending it over to the customer and drumming up inquiries and stirring up business. Number four, a pet door display, which if you're seeing this, you already should have been offered one or you should already be in possession of one. Now, often businesses think that they should just place this on the counter or on a table in their showroom. However, we only recommend that if over 50% of the customers you transact with are physically walking through your showroom as showroom traffic. If that is not the case, then what we recommend is keeping it in the vehicle with your most active salesman or saleswoman. And don't worry, as you get going and start selling more pet doors, we will gladly outfit you with as many displays as you'd like. And last but not least, and possibly the most effective for businesses just getting started in pet doors is email blasts. 99% of businesses have a massive database of customers that they've worked with where they could construct or build a huge list of emails. And what you can do is just simply email all of those past customers, letting them know that you have recently taken on pet doors as a service and over 65% of those email recipients are a candidate for pet doors like we mentioned earlier and these generally drum up a ton of business a ton of inquiries for you to start taking advantage of right away now if you can complete even just one of the five steps that we've covered today you are sure to start doing pet door business almost immediately but we highly recommend that you take all five steps extremely serious and watch pet doors become that vehicle that massively increases your business massively grows your revenue now, I should also mention that at this point, you should already have a copy of our digital dealer booklet. And if you don't, let us know, we'll get a fresh one to you. And inside of this digital booklet, all of these five steps on how to sell and market pet doors is in there. So you can use it as a quick point of reference as you get started marketing pet doors for your business. It also has tons of other resources in it like retail, wholesale, product descriptions, images, etc. So again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let us know. We'll get a copy sent over to you right away. It can be extremely helpful on the beginning of your journey with pet doors. Now, on behalf of all of our team here at Security Boss, we are extremely excited to have you on board and we can't wait to do a ton of business together.